Welcome back to the channel and to another new episode of Five Things You Might Not Know. This, as always, is the 101. This one is episode number 11, but as always, if you have missed any of the previous episodes, check them out in the series playlist, link on the screen. And here we go once again, this time episode number 11 of Five Things You Might Not Know About WWE 2K18. So, as you might know, last year in 2K17, there were certain DLC moves that didn't break the announcer's table. These moves have now been fixed for 2K18, but what you might not know is that there is now a new DLC move that also doesn't break the table. So, the 2K18 DLC move we're talking about is this version of the Fisherman Suplex, which, as you can see, does not break this year's announcer's table. Now obviously it is glitchy as it's not as intended, but if you are looking for a move that doesn't break the table, then this move is one of them, which also works on all versions of the announcer's table with some slightly different results and levels of glitchiness. Next up with theme number two today, more of a simple one, but still a thing that you might not know or more specifically, more a thing that you might not have seen. So as we know, pre-release, 2K released this year's exclusive four-man non-selectable entrance for Sanity, but what you still might not know or maybe just haven't seen yet, is that they also come complete with an exclusive non-selectable four-man winning scene. So there we go, nice and simple and pretty cool, especially if you are a fan of the group. With theme number 3 today, a continuation of a series regular, as we have got even more specific breakout animations that you only see when attacking certain superstars at specific moments in their entrances that you wouldn't normally get to see in regular gameplay. So today we are covering 5 more, including 3 featuring Tyler Breeze, There is also this one for The Rock via a running attack. And this one against Cassius Ono from this position, which sees him thrown from the ring. As always, some pretty cool stuff. And let me know if you know any more, and I'll feature even more in a future episode. Next up with theme number 4, we have got a risky Royal Rumble finisher. Now as we know, this year has seen some pretty big improvements and changes to this year's Rumble match, which has included many of this year's Rumble finishers being newly reanimated. One of these moves does remain one of the best of the bunch, but what you might not know is that this move is a risky Rumble finisher to have, because if it gets reversed, it does equal you being eliminated. That is right, if you pick the RKO as your Rumble finisher and this move gets reversed, this will result in a pretty awesome animation, which unfortunately will result in your superstar being eliminated out of nowhere. However, last up with our fifth and final inclusion, one returning from last year's game, 
which is still awesome to know and also a thing that you still might not know. So this year's table finishers, whilst not updated, do remain pretty awesome and what you still might not know is that some of these can actually be done either straight up on the floor or even on alternative objects. That is right, this little trick from 2K17 is still doable in 2K18 and is still nice and easy to do. For this one, you simply move the table slightly out of position to somewhere like this using this method. Once you get to a position similar to as seen in the video, your apron or rope table finishers will still work with your opponent either not landing on the table whatsoever, or alternatively on another object, for example when used as a ladder bridge combo, which as you can see does have some pretty awesome results. And there we go, another episode done and dusted, which now takes the series total to 55. So let me know in the comments if any of today's feature 5 things were new for you, plus if you've enjoyed today's episode, which hopefully you have, then as always a like rating would be awesome to see. Stay tuned to the channel for more like this coming very very soon, and with that said, until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one.